Pixgen IGS Boost is a tool I created for my personal projects. Personally, I really like the Xgen interactive, interactive grooming, but I was missing some of the functionality that we have on Xgen Core. So I have decided to create this tool for my personal projects and now I'm sharing it inside mGear. In order to open it, you can go to mGear, go to the new character effects bits menu and open Xgen IGS Boost. So IGS it's for interacti interactive grooming splines. So this tool basically helps you to create these uh, card based uh, setups. So the only thing that you need to do, let me first turn off all these little modifiers I have here. So we have just the clean result from the uh, the guides. And you can see first thing it's just like the um, description and here just click this button so it will load the description. That's all we need. So here I have my little visibility toggles. So I have the toggle for the hair and the toggle for the guides. So you can see here I have already my guides and I have color coded with the different colors for each layer. So it's easy to select and to visualize what are you doing. So the colors are just a visual helper, nothing else. So the most interesting part is here on the creation and in the modification. So once we have the description load, we can add curves just by clicking add curve and we can just click there and add a new curve. The curve will be added to the description and you can easily start manipulating the curve. The curve is just a simple uh, Maya nerves curve so you can use any tool that can apply to the curves and you can direct manipulate it. You can uh, have a fixed length so when it's selected if I uh, change this to fixed length it will create this like pull effect there. If I uncheck I can stretch my curve. Other things are the number of points that you generated by default the curve and the thickness. The thickness is just a visual uh, feedback or helper. So for instance, I can select this and let's put, let's uh, use the, the, the pink one. So you can see now it's pink. Okay, so that's uh, very simple. So we can start with the length, number of points and thickness. Okay, great. So if I want to delete it, just delete the curve. What else we can do? And that is probably the most interesting part. It's to start interpolating. So by default, the interpolation is between two closest uh, curves. So it's going to check the position when you intersect with the scalp and check for the closest curves so and it will interpolate the shape scaling and the rotation so let's activate all three and create a new curve so now when I create a new curve you can see well the first one was complaining something but yeah let's move now so you can see here, it's trying to interpolate the curve between the closest curves. And maybe it's easier. You can see here. And it's very, and you can rotate and so on. So if I rotate this one, for instance, now start moving this one again, it will try to interpolate and you see as close as you get, it goes there. So this is one of the things. The other thing is like we can duplicate symmetrical. So you can duplicate normal. So you just click duplicate. And it will duplicate the curve. But obviously if we have all this uh, interpolation active, it will lose the original shape. So maybe it doesn't make too much sense to duplicate while you interpolate in between the curves, but you can do it. So I'm just gonna select again the curve. Come here. And let's say I want to duplicate symmetrical. This is the most interesting part. And maybe I will do it. Uh, I'm just gonna delete this one, toggle the hair again. So you see this one here. And let's let's see what we get. So now that I'm trying to duplicate, it's saying, oh wait a second, you already have duplicate symmetry this one. Do you want to resymmetrize? So it remembers, it has a connection that remembers which one it was connected with which one. So you can resymmetrize and you can create the, the symmetry. If you don't want to resymmetrize or you create a new curve. And by the way, this is just, uh, let me 
just get rid of this. Sorry for that. That's a little... Well, it's a lot there. Yep, bye-bye. Okay, so... I delete it, just duplicate, resymmetrize again, so you can see now it's uh, creating this symmetry, so I can move it, this one, let's say, just one move there, so it is uh, deactivate the, the connection when you move in, so it's a little easier to move, you see now it's deactivated, so when I release, it connects again, so it's not refreshing all the time, so now I want to resymmetrize this one, so just duplicate resymmetry and it will detect again, so just resymmetrize. You may wonder why I have more options. Well, right now this resume and resume all it does exactly the same. But if you have several curves, and you want to edit all at the same time. And now with this selected, I just want to resymmetrize. So if I want uh, to resymmetry one by one, just click this one. But if I want all at the, at the same time, just click this, and it will resymmetrize everything. So that is basically all the functionality that this tool has. So it's very simple, just help you to visualize stuff, toggling stuff very easily. Creating the initial curves with uh, some recasting and some initial attributes and orientation, and then help you to duplicate, move, and symmetrize these curves. So that's it for this tool. It's a very simple, but at the same time, I think it's very, very useful. And you can get really quick results with just a bunch of new deformance. And of course now, maybe the hair is completely broken, but I hope you get the point and it's very useful for you. Okay, so that's all for this. See you in the next video. Bye bye.